Time stands still here, and all that matters is hot coffee cooked in the fire, board games, <laughs> jumping me, in the water, or so listening to the sounds of frogs and rain as you sleep at night. You want to know what cards are? Do you remember how to play? Not really. Here, you take that. You've got to help me. This is for the fire, Clover. <laughs> It feels like a different reality where the rest of the world is quiet. We spent so much of our childhood camping here and it feels like we're kids again as we slow down and rest, indulging in that childlike joy. I'm going to give you a tour of this tree house. Me and my dad built it back probably when I was about 12 or 11. And it's so beautiful. It has so many beautiful features. <laughs> Since we built it when I was 12, it's a bit small. So this whole space is probably about like six meters squared. It's tiny. It's about the size of a double bed. It's so cozy. And it's all built out of an old camper laurel tree, which is a really invasive species. So our dad cut it down and felled it and cut it into all of these beams and rafters and floorboards and everything is built from the tree itself, which is so amazing. And it's got these windows, which you can close up. And then it's completely rainproof and dark and cozy. And then you can open it. <laughs> And it's also got this beautiful window that can do the same thing, but it's a bit dodgy and the glass has fallen out, so we want to fix it up too. But it opens up and you look right out onto the rainforest. It's amazing. I could stay in here all day. It's so beautiful. This has been like chainsawed out. And so it's just, it's so cute. I love it so much. It's like a little fairy house. And when you wake up, you can look out and you can see all of the water and all of the reflections in the water and the raindrops. And it's just such a beautiful way to wake up in the middle of the rainforest and you just feel so immersed with nature.
I just woke up from the coziest night's sleep in the tree house. There's been rain kind of pattering on the roof and frogs cooling and it feels like summer's here. It's so beautiful. You can look out from this tree house and there's just raindrops falling on the lake and it's just, it's so cozy. I actually broke my toe the other day because I was chasing the goats through the garden. The little Paisley was being really naughty and she got into the garden and I was chasing her and I ran into something and broke my toe really badly. So we had to go to the hospital, which is always a bit of a struggle when you live this far into the bush. But yeah, it's all good now. I just am supposed to rest and not do my, too much work, which is always hard. So we decided that it would be nice to spend a few days or a week or I don't know, just kind of camping and relaxing. And it's kind of, it's funny to be forced to do nothing. You know, I always talk about the need for rest and, you know, to slow down and sit back, but actually doing it and being forced to do it, it's a whole different thing. <laughs> Julia's doing all of the animals for me right now. I normally get all of the ducks out of bed in the morning, but <laughs> now she has to do it. I feel bad. <laughs> 